Just a update on my printer. I have upgraded the mount for the temperature gauge. Bolts on each side and the gantry can go all the way up to the top without hitting it. This was the original design which set too low and would hit on there. So I redesigned that. I have fixed my door problem with the cable chain opening it when it probes this corner or when it does the purge line. I machined this acrylic, it's 10mm, all of these on my CNC machine, there's one down there as well. Also put a piece of black down the bottom and just use the original door and uh, the strip down there. All those bolts are flush mounted. I also upgraded the mounts and put a Allen key bolt in them. Kept the original magnets. I one up the top there. So that's the new design. One bolt to hold them. Top and a bottom. So I just mirrored it. And that fixed my problem with the door. The other problem I was having was this rail was making noise, clicking and sticking sounds. It was, you could see it sticking and jumping around. So I printed these, which are alignment things for the rail and they press up onto the extruded stuff as well to centre the rail. And printed this little block to space the rail off that bracket in there the right distance so I ended up stripping that rail cleaning the whole thing, stripping the bearing cleaning all the ball bearings and everything in that um, re-oiled it, put it back on and it was way better haven't noticed any clicking now but I ended up taking that one off as well and cleaning that but I didn't take the bearing apart I just cleaned the rail and inside the housing kind of thing and this rail is much louder sliding along than that one so there is something wrong with that rail or the bearing. So if it starts playing up again I will probably rip that rail out and that one and just um, throw them away, replace them. These ones are fine and the one across there is fine. And this was printed before I fixed the rails. As you can see there's a step there, there's also a step down on his foot, on his leg, one there as well, and it goes all the way around there, and there on there, and there, um, the seam is ugly as well. Showing you on one side of the seam. But the print has come out quite good. 
So I'm going to reprint that now that I've fixed the rails. These were printed after fixing the rails as well and changing the e-steps. Those are just printed real fast with, I think it was two wall. That's why that Ripley effect, you can see the infill. But they are accurate on the measurements. The next thing that I am looking at doing is setting up a camera. I would like to have the camera inside the housing, but it's not a lot of room. Like you've got that much room at the top in there but not in the middle because the chain gets quite close to that gauge if the gauge was in the middle that's why it's off center so you can't fit a camera up in here really the only place I do need to look at is maybe in the front just in here where that bolt is Maybe put a camera in here, get one of those small tiny ones which is just the circuit board and uh, make a little housing for it. Maybe run the cable down under there. That'll be the next thing I look at a camera. I did see someone post on the group they had a bracket off their desk with the camera up here. But I'd probably get annoyed with it having to move it all the time and open the door. The only other place would be on the side looking in. But you wouldn't really see much until the this went up so far that's probably about it uh, I did have these sides off this side if you take that off with the four screws you can get to the main board SD card so you can back up the files or format the card, put your files back on. Uh, if you take the other side off you get access to the main power supply. I tidied up the wires in there, a couple of cable ties because they were sitting all over top of the fan hole in the power supply so I just moved them out of the way and cable tied them. The back corner over that side the bottom extruded alloy underneath was actually pushed up on one end about 4mm higher than the other end which was bending the that plastic floor panel I'll show a photo on this video which I also fixed and The only other thing I probably might look at doing is replacing the fans in there with something more quieter. There's a 40mm fan right in the middle which just blows up from the bottom. Which looks like I could fit a 92mm fan in there. And maybe a 92mm fan here blowing that way. That fan up there, I actually worked out the macros to have it go 50% and 75% speed and 25% speed, I think it is. So I won't be replacing that fan. Apart from that, it's going good. 
still need to do some decent prints on it. Going to be doing some big parts for a mini table probably next week on it. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, and I'll print another one of those to see what it comes out like after doing the rails. <laughs> 